IDV or VTS. Um, they're two different uh, exchange traded funds um, that are looking at similar markets. How would you go about evaluating the difference between those um, sure. and I guess picking one or the other? Yeah, so those are two US equity ETFs and they're both gold rated by Morningstar. Uh, they both give you um, a very diversified portfolio of US stocks. Um, so generally we've observed that in the US the average active manager has struggled to beat the mainstream stock market benchmarks. So we're, we're already very um, favorably disposed towards investing via kind of passive index funds in the US. Um, so that, that sort of provides them with a pretty good tailwind. Um, then they're also incredibly low cost. So they both charge 0.04%, which is, uh, you know, you go much below that and you, you're, you're almost getting towards being free. Um, that, yeah, the, the, it's negligible. The, yeah, exactly. Um, so, that, yeah, they're, they're both gold rated. Um, we will kind of hold both of them in very high regard. Uh, if I had to sort of pick differences between the two, um, so the, the iShares product um, tracks the S&P 500, which gives you 500 of, the, of America's largest stocks. Um, so it is well diversified. One maybe um, slight drawback relative to the, uh, the Vanguard product, uh, Vanguard VTS, is that um, on, uh, it, the Vanguard product is even more diversified. So it holds 3,500 companies. So it, it's taking you a little bit down, a little bit further down the market cap or the size spectrum. Um, but then a slight drawback on the Vanguard product is that it's a cross-listing. So it's actually a US listed ETF listed in New York that is cross-listed into Australia for Australians to access. But that does come with a few little extra paperwork issues and uh, potentially some, some complications around US estate tax. Um, so yeah, the Vanguard product is more diversified maybe a little bit more complex, but there's, there's not much between the two. Um, they're both very high quality um, products for, for long-term investors. Any advice in this video is general advice prepared by Morningstar without reference to your financial objectives, situation, or needs. You should consider the advice in light of these matters and any relevant product disclosure statement before making any decision to invest.